Thank you very much, Craig. In the CBS 12 Kitchen this morning, Chef Chrissy Benoit from the Production Kitchen. Getting very festive with us. It is November, and we're talking pumpkin this morning. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. Um, what we're talking about today is a savory tamale. And because pumpkins are coming into season, I figured we'd make a pumpkin sage chicken tamale. I like it. Very creative, yeah, Chrissy. Yeah, very good. So um, a basic tamale is a very simple food. It's, it's a very uh, peasant street food. And you're going to start, you need three things. You need water, you need the masa flour, and you need some sort of fat or lard or butter. So basically how I got to this point is I, I used chicken stock instead of water, put the masa flour in, and then we used the drippings from the roasted chicken to add the fat to that. Nice. So then we ended up with this mixture here. It's just a nice doughy mixture. We incorporated the pumpkin, fresh pumpkin that we roasted. And then at this point what we do is we just start adding ingredients. And you can get very creative with tamales. You know, you can make it real simple, or you can throw all sorts of stuff. Sure. And it'll all hold together. And so, you've got pumpkin, looks like sesame seeds. Actually, these are pumpkin seeds. Okay. Toasted pumpkin seeds, pumpkin. Got some onion powder, because I didn't want the chunks of onion in this. Gotcha. We got some minced garlic, and then we're going to go ahead and put a little sage in here. So once we shake that onto there, then what we're going to do is kind of blend it together. Now, when you're making tamales, if you find as you're going along that it looks a little too watery or a little too dry, sure. they're really easy to correct. Just add a little more water, add a little more Perfect. flour. Very, very simple. So what we're going to do is just mix this in. You can kind of smell that smells onion. Smells delicious. And all that good stuff. And then what I like to do is I like to add the chicken at the end because I like the chunks of chicken to be nice and, and big in here. I don't want them sure. to come apart too much. So I want people to enjoy them. So once we fold this in, the last step to a tamale is you're going to wrap it up in a nice little corn husk. And where can you buy a corn husk? You can buy them at a lot of produce markets. They're in a lot of grocery stores. Definitely big in the Latin market. Sure. Just bag them over there. That bag will run you about $5. It's going to make like 70 tamales. Wow, okay. Yeah. So basically what you do is you're going to take those corn husks. They're a little dry and brittle. You're going to soak them in water for a few minutes so they get nice and pliable. And then all we're going to do is take some of our mixture, just whatever feels right. You don't want to overfill it. We're going to kind of put it in there. Form it up till it's as thick or as thin as you want sure. it to be. Fold the base, and then just wrap it up. Just like you would a burrito. That's it. That's it. Perfect. And then at the, at the end, you're going to basically, you can make a steamer at home. If you have a fancy steamer, great. But if you don't, just get a pan with like a little metal rack, throw it in there, throw about an inch of water, cover it with the foil, and just steam it for 20 minutes. And Fantastic. allow them to cool down a little bit. 20 minutes, you said? 20 minutes. Easy as that. Easy as that. And you can feed on a $5 bag of masa flour. You can make like 50 tamales. Cool. So it's economical. They're delicious. They're, they're hearty and filling. So I, I, we like them. We do them at Havana Hideout. I know you do. Yeah. Chrissy also owns Havana Hideout. Yeah. You said this is something special that's on your menu yes. there as well. Yes, yes. Awesome. What yes. do we do in the next hour? Uh, the next hour we're going to do a sweet tamale where they're going to end up tasting like pumpkin pie. You're going to want to stick around for that. She's an expert. Chrissy can do it well. Thank we you. We thank you for your time. Thank you. Stay with us. We're back after the break.